Hello, my dear students. I hope you are doing great and everything is fine. I am Robert Muhammad, a teacher from Cambridge International School, Capital City Branch. In this video lesson, I'm going to explain this checkpoint pass paper, which is from October 2016, paper 2. As you know that I have already sent you the paper, so you should have it now. And I want you to go through the paper with me and check or write down the answers if you haven't finished yet. Okay, and if you are ready now, we can start with the first question on page 2, which says, here is a food chain. We have a food chain here in this uh, question. And the, uh, the question says, complete the sentences. So you have to look and think about the food chain and uh, complete the sentences. Uh, you have it here. Okay. Uh, number one says, of all food chains begin with a. We know that food chains and food webs start with a plant or begin with a plant. So you have to write down a plant. And you can write down a producer also. So um, both of them are correct. But you should write down only one answer. Okay. Uh, number two says, in this food chain, this is the plankton. Plankton is the uh, plant or the producer in this food chain. Three says uh, this living organism gets its energy from the sun. We know that uh, plants give the energy from the sun to make their own food. Okay, and let's go to question number two on page three. Here I'm gets electrical electrical conductors. She uses different materials in electrical circuit. We have a circuit here. This person is investigating or using different materials to see which one conducts electricity. Okay. Question A says, explain how she can tell if a material is an electrical conductor. How does the this person know that which material is a conductor or which material conducts electricity? What will happen to the circuit by testing each material? Or what will happen to the circuit if a material conducts electricity? Of course, the uh, the circuit will start to work, or let's say the lamp will work, okay? So you have to write down the lamp, okay, will work. This is how the person can know that the material is an electrical conductor. Question B, which material is a good conductor of electricity? Circle the correct answer. We have four materials here. Copper, glass, plastic, wood. Which one is a conductor? Which one transfers or transports electricity? Okay. Of course, we know copper is the material that transfers electricity here. Um, the other ones, glass, plastic, wood, uh, do not conduct electricity. Um, by the way, you have to circle the answer. Although I'm changing the color to red, uh, but you have to circle it. Even in the uh, checkpoint exams, when it says circle, you have to circle it. Okay. Question C says uh, which material is which material is not a good conductor of electricity? Circle the correct answer. Which one does not transfer or transport electricity? Here, brass, gold, rubber, sulfur. We know that. Brass, gold, silver transfer elect uh, transport electricity, and um, the only one is rubber that does not conduct electricity. Okay, so circle rubber. Question three on page four: Insects pollinate flowers. We know that usually flowers are pollinated by insects. Uh, the uh, question says here: uh, A circle one statement one sentence that's true about uh, the flowers pollinated by insects so you have five sentences here which one is the right sentence or which sentence is correct circle the sentence okay the statement one flowers can be po uh, can be bright colors uh, two flowers uh, close at night three leaves are large four petals uh, are always small and five stems bent easily. So the right one or the right statement is the first one. Flowers can be bright colors. We know that 
flowers have brought bright colors okay so this makes uh, insects uh, like to be attracted by them <clears throat> second B why do many flowers pollinated by insects produce sweet nectar we know that uh, usually uh, there are many kinds of flowers that produce sweet nectar and this makes uh, like insects to be attracted to them so the reason it, uh, the answer is so that okay so that uh, the they attract insects they attract insects okay this is the right answer uh, let's go to the next page page 5 question number 4 and um, seeds are dispersed this is about seed dispersal uh, my dear students you have studied this topic uh, in grade 5 and uh, you have reviewed this topic in your checkpoint book so uh, you have to know the answer now okay a Sophia disperses seeds okay this person is dispersing uh, dispersing seeds and the question says what kind of seed dispersal is Sophia using circle the correct answer so which one is the correct answers animal dispersal insect dispersal salad dispersal water dispersal or wind dispersal uh, we know that she is blowing the seed this means that the seed is um, like uh, dispersed by wind okay because she's blowing it then uh, it is the right answer is wind dispersal you can circle wind dispersal okay uh, let's go to the other question on page six question number uh, question b chen disperses seeds again this person is dispersing seeds okay uh, what kind of seed dispersal is chen using circle the correct answer now uh, we've got five choices again animal dispersal insect dispersal cell dispersal water dispersal or wind dispersal um, like you have to think about it carefully then choose your answer okay um, the, of, the right answer is the first one by the way animal dispersal but let me explain it to you why if you look at uh, the picture and look at the choices you can understand that there is no insect there is uh, the scene is not dispersing by itself of course it needs help from something and there is no water and there is no wind I have chosen animal dispersal because it is dispersed by humans and we know that uh, humans are a type of animal so it is uh, animal dispersal okay let's go to the other page page 7 question number 5 uh, question says Mike investigates how well materials conduct electricity okay he connects different materials to an electrical circuit containing a lamp he looks at the brightness of the lamp here are uh, his results so this table shows you the results okay and the questions are here three questions a b c so you have to look at the table and then answer the questions be careful okay question a brass conducts electricity uh, name one material that is a better conductor of electricity which one is better than uh, brass okay if you look at the table brass says lamp is just brighter than when using lead so the brass is only better than lead but it's not better than copper or silver okay so what can you write here you can write mm -hmm. down one of the materials that uh, mm -hmm. you have it uh, here in the table you can write down copper or you can write down silver but the one that's better than brass is uh, copper you can write down copper okay B which material is the best conductor of electricity according to the table which one is the best be careful if you look at the results you see lit lamp is very dim brass just brighter than the dim copper 
lamp is bright plastic does not work silver is very bright so according to the table the one that is very good is silver why because the lamp is very bright okay so you have to write down silver silver is the best question c which material does not conduct electricity of course this one is very easy it's written plastic lamp does not work what does this mean it means uh, it does not conduct electricity so the right answer is plastic okay my dear students and this is the end of the paper uh, my dear students you can uh, watch the video lesson again to completely understand anything um, that you want to know or um, it's not clear okay i hope that you've enjoyed um, and um, got benefit from the video lesson until next time bye